Hey there, Lick and Riffers, and welcome back to another awesome fingerstyle arrangement lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which we're going to learn Shania Twain's You're Still the One. First, I'm going to play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're going to break it down lick by lick with tabs right here on the screen as usual. It goes like this. Enjoy. So before we start learning this, I would like you to know that this lesson is sponsored by the terrific Spark Music app. The wonderful people at Spark Music would like you, Lick and Riffers, to use the gift that is Spark Music. Spark Music is a social video streaming, networking, and talent spotting app especially designed for the music industry. You can actually be spotted there. It allows you to upload videos, images, and your own music, and you will be able to connect with other musicians as well as get discovered by audiences, fellow artists, fans, and industry professionals. Yes, industry professionals can spot you. This is a whole new way to get your music noticed. From the moment you register onto Spark Music and you put in your specialty, your genre, your music, your instrument even, okay, all of these are our keywords that people can find you through, okay? If people search guitar and guitar music and rock or fingerstyle, they can find you by searching your instrument and genre. So sign up to Spark Music using the link in the description below and get started. It's as easy as playing the guitar. So I truly hope that you get discovered this way because Spark Music is a true game changer. All right, so thank you so much Spark Music for choosing Lick and Riffers. Um, all right, so you're still the one, Shania Twain. All right, so the intro is actually your choice. Okay, you can play whatever you want. Um, it's just D, G, and A, so you can do it any way you want. <laughs> play these chords D, G, and A, okay, just do it, okay, to fit your own style, okay, I don't want you to copy my playing, I want you to play this arrangement in your own way, okay, your own unique style, and then the verse begins with this, okay, so this is a D chord, and we could play the E string, okay, we could play the open E string, 
which is pretty, it's nice, but I don't think it catches the lyric verbatim, okay? You need that hammer on. Okay? Looks like we made it, so... I put on these two fingers, fingers one and two, on strings two and three, okay? Where the D chord is, okay? Three on the second string, two on the third. And I hammer on five on the second string. So I play the fourth string first, and then I play the two notes, okay? And I hammer on, okay? And then I play the chord again, okay? Just three on the second string, okay? You can harmonize it, okay? Again, okay, you can play strings two and three. And then, I play the third string on two, okay? Just inside the chord, okay? The chord note. And then you play the hammer on again and without the hammer on, okay? So you play the hammer on and then the three, and then you play the third string, and then you play the hammer on and the three again. Okay? And this gives this arrangement the country feel. Okay, this gives it a country feel instead of just a generic finger style feel. That's why I went for the hammer on to five. Okay, so you hammer on five with your little finger. And then you have G. Okay, with three, three, three on the second string. And then the open E string. And then you have, okay. You have two zero on the first string with an A chord. Okay, so you can put an A shape, but on strings one, two, and three, and just play it, okay? Or you can just harmonize with the second string on two. Okay, a thinner sound, okay, which is nice. Um, just don't forget the open A string. And then you open the E string, okay, so it's two zero. And then you play three on the second string, open E string, okay? And then you repeat. Okay, and then G, okay, it was D, and then G, and then A, okay? And then three on the second string, and then the open E string again. Now, you can put the whole A chord on if you want, okay? But you don't have to, okay? Just in case you were wondering, you can put all four fingers on, but you don't have to. This is the beauty of finger style. Okay, you can just harmonize with one string. And then uh, you have a D5 chord, which is five, three, two on strings one, two, and three, five, three, two. And you play the D bass first, and then the melody is strings one and then two. Okay, so you can play the chord. And then again. Okay, so you play it twice. And then you have G. You play the bass first, and then 3-3 three, three on the second string, and then the open E string. And then you have A, just 2-0 on the first string. Okay? Because then you have this. Two pull off to zero on the third string, and then you slide into a D chord. Okay? C-shaped. You take the C chord up two frets, that's a D. So you slide into four and five on strings four and five, and then you play three on the second string, and then you play the fourth again, okay, on four. So it's... And then you have G, three on the bass with the open third string, and then the open first. And then you have A with, okay, with two pull off to zero on the second string, and then you have two on the third, okay? So you repeat this, the whole thing. You repeat from two pull off to zero on the third string, and then D, and then G, okay? G6 if you want to get technical because you have the open E string, and then you have A again. 
And then you have the chorus. It starts with the backing vocals. Still the one. Okay, so you put a D chord on, 5-7-7. Seven, you don't put the whole bar on. Okay, you put 5-7-7. Seven, seven, and you play three times. Okay, 5-7-7. Seven, seven. And then the bass note. Okay. And then you have this. Okay, 7-5 on the second, 7-6 seven, on the third. So... And then you have the open second string, giving you time to go back to G. And you play the bass. And then you play the open E string. So... And then you have E minor. You don't play anything. You just play the open sixth. And then... 3 to 0 on the first string and then three on the second string. Now, E minor has open strings, one, two, and three. So you can play them. And then you have A, okay? And the important note here is the second string, okay? So just play the whole chord up to the second string. And then you have this. Okay, two pull off to zero on the first string, three on the second. And then you have this. Okay, which is D. You play the bass and then you play the chord with two zero on the first string. You can pull it off. And then three two zero on the second string. And then the G bass. And then the E string. And then A again. Second string is the melody note. Okay, so once again, after this, second string, G, E minor, A, D, G, A. Okay, and you play this, the chorus, you play the whole thing twice. And that's your arrangement. So click the link in the description and register to Spark Music to get your music out there. I wish you all the luck in the world. And with Spark Music, you attract that luck, okay? Luck favors the brave. So get your music out there. I'll see you the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go download the tab from the website. The link is also in the description. Right, so see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Enjoy.